Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and today we are back in No Man's Sky. So I was sitting here in the outpost, and I saw this ship. Now, I just got back uh, to this station from selling my um, Vortex Cubes. Um, I haven't gone back to get more Vortex Cubes since you saw last, um, but this has 25 slots my current ship has 16 slots this would be such a huge upgrade <laughs> that said i'd have to buy the ship it would leave me with a few hundred thousand units i would then have to buy plutonium because i always sell plutonium you know me um, actually, I might have a little bit of plutonium on me. But I also would have to get... I, I, already, put, I already put this in the hyperdrive. The thing is, wh where's my money for this ship? <laughs> That's what I want to know. But I, it's hard to turn down. I, I may be messing myself over by doing this. But I feel it has to be done. I need a ship that will allow me to um, hold more. Uh, not only if I had stacks of emerald, I could do 500. It'd give me a whole lot more space. Look, look at this thing. It's even going off of the screen over here. Uh, how much it holds. So i want to do this one i also want to decline real quick just to look around me not not move from where i am but just look yeah no whoa whoa, whoa. there there it is okay it's right in front of me i'm getting the ship i i i'm gonna go ahead and get the ship um make an offer i really wish we could negotiate compare the transfer stars okay compare it okay Warning, transfer items before, of course I would do that. Um, the thing is, is that here we have my ship. I am going to pretty much move things over to it. Move, move things over to this. But I'm getting nothing for my ship. This is our ship now. But, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Actually, let's take a look at how much that ship is. Now that we own this one. Um, I'm guessing the Gek took over this one? That was taking over that one? Okay, so... This is free. <laughs> this would be This would be free to me again. If we went back to this. Um, we have 200,000 to our name. We currently have enough plutonium to probably take off. So let's go ahead and get in this. I'm I'm dying to see if the uh, what the cockpit look like, looks like. What? Look at this. This is such an easier cockpit to look at. Now, there were a few things I did want to do. Um, I want to get rid of these. I want to get rid of all of the bonus stuff. Um, cooling, I'm not worried about that. Uh, phase beam, I really don't even need this, but it, it requires it. I, actually, I can dismantle that. Um, pulse engine, I really wish I could just move this to there. Um, oh, maybe, okay, uh, nope, nope, that's not what I'm looking for. X to transfer, no. X, nope, can't move it. So these three are stuck here, these two are stuck here. Um, we have things now. Um, so first off, we need to go ahead and get the landing gear taken care of. Hopefully that's enough to get off the ground. And it doesn't look like it is. It usually takes 20%. 
Then we have uh, this is taken care of. No problem. Um, 25 slots. We have a lot of stuff here that we can actually sell that we don't actually need. Maybe we can use it here. See that big ship right next to me? <laughs> Gotta exit. Just take a look at it. Look at that beast. Look at that one. Look at this thing. Okay, I've seen one of those. But that's kind of like mine. It's It just has a different... No, it's it actually has the same kind of look to it. So, anyway. We now have a new ship. Um, we're going to go ahead. And, okay, we were able to take off. Thank goodness. Uh, we are going to go ahead and go to this planet here we haven't been there yet I just want to know if it has anything worth having I am not even in the land if I can't see uh, tunnels that plutonium would be in um, I would also like to know more about the planet <laughs> hopefully we can get that information by just being in the atmosphere and looking at the system that's what I'm thinking at least so we're gonna get there um, looks like in 43 seconds and it looks like a cold planet it is further away from the other planets as far as the um, as yeah as far as the closest planet that we were just at so this will probably be a very cold climate and it looks white so that's what it, it probably is gonna be once we hit the surface that said we've seen things that were not what they actually appeared from the outside um, there was one where it looked like it was blue and green and it ended up being red and purple I think it was something like that but here we go we're coming in hot and heavy <laughs> oh yeah this is this is a um, icy planet Wow, look at this beast. It definitely turns slower, or at least it feels like it, but it turns this way faster. Okay, I am not seeing, I'm looking for caves. Actually, nope, <laughs> you have to land. That looks like a cave right there. Snowy, passive, bountiful, uh, numerous. So we'll probably see uh, animals here. Nice. Let me know if you see anything that I don't see. Okay. Right, um, let's see here. Is that the same? Nope, that's a different kind. We got all kinds of trees around us. Um, plutonium. We gotta decide what we're gonna do as far as, um, as far as our ship goes. If we're gonna keep the materials that are on it. The only thing I can see that we need to keep is an atlas stone. Let's go ahead and do a scan here. I'm looking for help. Oh, there's a... By the way, I also learned <laughs> that if it has a red dot, it has not been discovered. If it has a green dot, as we can... Sh we should be able to go down here and see this. If we look, you see it has a green dot. That's how we know that we have discovered it. Mm. So we're going to go up here a little bit. Let's get this one. That one is pretty big. Uh, mature, prime, passive, vegetarian. Keep hearing all kinds of noises around me. Okay.
There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and check down into these places. There's shielding, there's health. Okay, good. Health is what we're actually looking for. Um, there we go. And then we're also going to see if there's anything like what we've seen on the other planets. Like vortex crystals or the... Um, or the... The other things. <laughs> The things that uh, security's called on us for. Um, we must have traveled a distance. What is that? What is that? That's a glowy iron oxide. 40,000 units traveled. Isotope. That's carbon. Is that, that's a plant? on the ground gravitino gravitino is what I was trying to think of see two uh, dwell dwelling dwellings oh emerald my old friend. <laughs> um, what what one is this? This is Emerald Three. Okay, this is going to be. Let's check. Uh, Dextron. There it is. Emerald Two. This is Emerald Three. So let's go ahead and X. Emerald, M, Rill, three. There we go. And yeah, there's more over here. It looked like, but that's not why we're here. We're here for the plutonium. We also need what else for the um. That's not what I'm looking for. Suspension fluid, plutonium, heridium, zinc. Zinc. We do not have zinc. So look for yellow. There's heridium. That's why I, I was like, don't worry about the heridium. We, we found the heridium. <laughs> Look down there. Look at all that. Get get all the scraps. <laughs> Oops, didn't mean to get the carbon. Does it feel like we're doing a whole lot more as far as our gun goes? Heridium, let's go ahead and transfer that over. Starship is out of range, okay. But we can transfer this over. Transfer that. 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 By the way, I went ahead and put the shield boost in. So it just kept bothering me because I didn't put the shield boost in. Um, also, in... The ship. Since this is the only atmos uh, atlas stone we have. Okay, never mind. Uh, we'll go ahead and move this down here. Put this there. We just want to make sure that it is. I don't know. Out of out of visuals. Out of visual range. Okay. Heridium is done. Um, yes, antimatter, zinc. So, yellow is what we're looking for now. A lot of health, and it looks like there's some words over there, so let's go ahead and get those. Extreme night temperature. Check detected. 
Yep. It's so odd. The audio is cutting out for some reason. Where'd the Gek thing go? It's right next to it, I thought. It's not it. The audio is acting very, very weird right now. I mean, if you hear it, this sounds normal. Maybe it's the music? Yeah, it's the weird, it's the music that's weird. It's weird. There's the Gek thing. Or at least one of them. You can even hear the sound of the snow. Now, without that weird music on. Gek for silicate. It's actually, even the wind is cutting out. Cutting back in? Maybe it's my voice that's doing it? I don't know. Okay, we needed that because... Why did I need that again? <laughs> there was a reason I was doing that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, bypass chip. So we need to go ahead and... Is that zinc? That's zinc. We need zinc. We need to go ahead and send that over. So we're actually doing our job this time instead of um, going all over the place. And getting emerald. Okay, so of course we're going... Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to go ahead and continue with the monoliths. I feel that there's something about the monoliths that will teach us about the atlas stones. I mean, that's the only thing that could really teach us about atlas stones is something that we haven't, <laughs> that we haven't, um, um, yeah, I don't know. That's gold, right? Aluminum. Okay. All right. Anyway, if I wanted to get Emerald, I would just do it, but I don't want to. Just, okay, that's good. That's taken care of. That's iron. Again, the sounds are... Oh my goodness, that's going to make me... Oh, that's new. We haven't seen that before. I thought that was the thing. Ow? What are you doing up here? Actually, I know I've already seen one of you somewhere else, but now I gotta kill you just because you hurt me. You hurt me so bad. Okay, ship is somewhere in this direction. There it is. And then there's those weird trees next to where our ship is. It's just iron. I was thinking those were cubes. Cubes! Okay. Is this a different one? Might as well get them all. Um... All the monoliths. Give me all of them.
That is a second monolith. Two monoliths and one. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and... Uh, it's not that low. Actually, for some reason, it's taking a while for it on this one. This is not something. Oh, that is something. That is iron. Okay, here's our ship. Okay. I think we'll just go straight to... Honey, I'm just getting all the stuff, all the things. Okay, ship should be right on the other side of this stone. Keep forgetting we got a new ship. It's so weird. Okay, let's go ahead and get in here. Um, we need to take care of this. We got <laughs> what I thought was tons. Um, thamium. Iron. There's my emerald. Only 135. I, I mean, I could get a stack pretty fast. All right. Um. What else? What else do I need to do? Gun needs to thamium. This I'll go ahead and get with thamium as well. Actually, why am I keep keeping carbon? Uh, we can actually go ahead and get rid of that. Thamium, 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 or carbon. This can, uh, we can actually sell that unless we need it for anything specific. Um, let's do this. Actually, we got chrysonite. Move that, move that. Tonium, iron. Move this over here. Let's see, let's move all these down. Platinum, chrysonite. There we go. Let's take off and go to the monoliths. Hopefully, one of them is a monolith um, uh, that is not a language monolith. Hopefully. This is a language monolith. <laughs> we get out at the top and we have to fall down to the bottom. Actually, this is unknown. I, I have no clue. Look at that. That is awesome. Federation, Gek word for Federation, for trading, yes it is, this is the kind I love and hate at the same time, um, sells Gek, <laughs> I guess um, that's the kind of salesman a Gek is, a sells Gek, alright, give me your riddles, A strange new reality grips me. The ancient structure swings open to reveal a body encased in ice. It is a patchwork of different body parts. Its ragged beak appears to have been stitched on with animal guts. A handwritten sign in the language of the ancient traders can be seen above the body's head. A flammable isotope would most likely melt the ice. I hate 
<laughs> when you have these kind of things. So the words that we can read are beware, abomination, despair. So it's saying beware that there is an abomination. So we would leave it, right? Leave it. Because if we unleash it, it is an abomination. And it says that beware and despair. Beware something, the abomination. Or the gek. Uh, well, we know the word for gek, so it's not a gek abomination. But beware the abomination. Um, nut, uh, nut ubar gisi <laughs> nasil despair. So I'm going to say leave. The panel on the monolith swings shut. The abomination remains trapped. I am thanked. Your standing with the Gek increases. You have learned the Atlas word for witness. I never noticed that. And I receive a Gek relic. It says, it doesn't say a Gek word. It says an Atlas word. So... That's interesting. I never noticed that before, that it was saying it was a Gek word. Or an Atlas word, rather, instead of a Gek word. Whenever we solve those. Oh! <laughs> well, while we're down here, we still have a stack of emerald to, uh, to fill. We, um... Yeah, I'm going to have to come down here and get some of this emerald at some point, but we shall move on. Oh, I never noticed this. Look, our ship goes kind of catty, catty wampus on the, on the front end. I wish you could look around in here instead of not look, look around. Okay, so let's go ahead and get going. And then we have another relic. Or monolith to go to. And this one... I have no clue... Oh, oh actually, it's another riddle. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you for the riddles. The riddles are fine, actually. We're, we're getting to what? Around 35, 40 uh, words now? Fusion. Um, <laughs> toil a geck? <laughs> that's, that's not a word. That's not a word. Joy. Okay, that is a word. That's a word I understand. All right. Come on, Riddler. I'm inspecting the monolith service when suddenly a ragged silicon claw grabs me. Despite being broken and fragmented, it holds me tight while an ancient metallic beak emerges from the living rock. It shouts in an ancient tongue, Unaware of who or what I am. Alright, so... Let's see... Oh! 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 Wait. Do I wait? Do I give it silicate? The only reason we're given the option of silicate is because we know the words give silicate. If I didn't have those words... I probably would have gone with weight.
I have heridium. I could get the heridium out. It would give me something different. I could wait. Maybe it would give me an Atlas Pass. I could not wait. And it could do something else. The Heridium, though, seems very important because of the fact that we're able to read it. I feel like I'm cheating, <laughs> but that's the reason you're learning the words, is it not? Gek, first spawn, give silicate. The metallic hand releases its grip and grabs at my offering. I have perhaps appeased an ancient evil. Your standing with the Gek increased. Your health levels rise. You have learned Atlas word for creation. I receive a Gek relic. What if I would have waited? I'll never know. So let's go ahead and go back to our ship. Let's check these Gek relics. Do I need to save those also? They're 26,000 each. A metal statue of a creature with a coin placed in its beak. Popular with many traders who see it as an emblem of fair commerce and peace. So we can sell them, probably. Okay, I am ready to go. I got everything that I need. I should be able to make my uh, new warp. Do I, I mean, you would, uh, you would wonder. I mean, there's a off-world distress beacon. A distress means that it wants me to help it. Analyze and upload discoveries. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm saving them. It's my bank. It's my money. Um, okay, so... Let's see. What do we not have? Um, e. So all we need is suspension fluid. Then we'll be able to make it. Alright, so let's go. Let's, let's go ahead and check out this distress signal. There's really nothing I can do. I, I've, I've brought this ship down to being a pure freighter. With minor weapons. So I guess we'll see once we get there. I'm also seeing other things behind the writing. I'd like to know what it is or what it's saying. But I I'm happy with with uh, returning to this this place. Um, was able to get a ship. We're at two hundred nine thousand. We need to, of course, get our money back up. I could go ahead. Whoa, 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 whoa. What in the world was that about? This is the dis distress beacon. What's under attack? What are you? That's nickel. Okay, the distress beacon is still 15 minutes away. Why why did it do that thing that it were doing? <laughs> 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6.
I don't know. It keeps changing the distance. Two, one. We're here. Stress beacons are usually sent by ships. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. Let's, um, hmm. Well, we need to stop at a trade post. Actually, didn't this not have a trade? This has a trade post. Let's go to here. This is Emerald. And, yep, there we go. We're low. We actually need to put Heridium in here. Or Thamium 9? That's, that's what we need to put in here. There we go. Okay. Actually, while we're just in here, I need to go ahead and boost that up. Still need to get more plutonium. Always need to get plutonium. Um, our inventory is getting um. Smaller. Kind of want to go ahead and dismantle this. I really don't know why I'm using it. Um. The only time I'll need it is if I go to a planet again that um, that's going to give me issues as far as um, wait a minute. This is the trading post. What is this? Oh, that's the transmission tower. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to the trading post. It's more, that's better, that's a better place for us. Um, I think what I'll end up doing is I'm gonna end the video in this um, system so that I can go ahead and get vortex cubes, just send them to my ship and then that way I can just make tons of money and just keep going back and forth between um, getting vortex cubes and selling them. Actually, this is one of the, is this not one of the planets that I was seeing those um, <laughs> those things I'm getting trouble in? Hey. A mining overseer, Illy, friend, Gek trader, Gek trader, friend, language. Okay, isotopes, silicate, all the stuff that I don't have on me. Um, let's go ahead and move some over here. We, I'll just move iron. Yeah, let's do that. Nice support power. Yeah. Friend, yes, I yes, I understand what you're saying. I feel your pain. Grateful trader clicks as speak. It teaches. Okay, so I learned power. Nice. I learned isotope. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and sell. I'm gonna sell pretty much everything that I don't need to make 
Actually, let's buy first. <laughs> uh, we need so, um, suspension Charge fluid. Received. Wow. Okay, that they only had one, and it wasn't expensive. It was nineteen nineteen thousand. We spent forty thousand our on our last suspension fluid. So this is uh, this is good. Then we need to go ahead and make it. Plutonium is an issue, always an issue. But um, I saw plutonium. Nothing found. Ow! I'm at five health now. Nice. Tonium is good. Here, it looks like. Keep hearing things. Alright, so I think I am going to go ahead and end it here. Um, it may be a shorter video than normal. It may be longer. I honestly get lost in this game. Um, just trying to get things going. And Okay, so we need to move this over and this over. We're going to go ahead and press E. Make this. Then... Make this, then make this, and then go ahead and put this in the hyperdrive. Okay, good. Of course it is. Because <laughs> it always is. Okay, let's go ahead and move this over. Corvex Convergence Cube, that's nice, that's money. It's okay, it's only 28, we need more. Actually, if we get back over to the ship, we'll have um, enough um, of the good stuff. Can I even make it up there from here with this new... No, no, ow! Oh. <laughs> Lessons learned. Actually, can I climb up this? I can. Can I go side beside it? Nope. Ugh. There we go. And then up here. All right. What? I have Gek charms too. I forgot. I need to sell those. So your inventory. Yes, yeah, so that. Nothing on him. All right, Gek charms. That's fifty-two thousand. Nice. We're getting getting back up there. Getting back. Go ahead and sell that. I sell everything except for the Atlas Stone. <laughs> Atlas Stone staying with me. Tonium staying with me. This is going. Thamium 9 stays with me. There we go. And there we go. And now if we look at our ship. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Put this here. Put that here. Let's go ahead and put this over on my guy real quick. And I'll go ahead and use that on there. And then put this back over. All right, so let's go ahead and end the episode here. Hopefully you enjoyed. This is Cypher Deck. I don't know where my ship is. And I will talk to you next time. Peace out.